cloud bread, the low carb and keto bread and pasta. He begins with an egg, cracking it over a bowl to separate the yolk from the whites. Technically, he should crack the egg over a third bowl, in case the yolk cracks, but he likes to play dangerous games. Then he adds half a teaspoon of cream with the tartar to the egg whites. The step that follows requires the whipping of either a stand mixer, called such because it can stand on its own, or the whippinator, or you can use a hand whisk, but definitely not a baby whisk or a fork. He, however, will be using this 1970s hand mixer. He beats the eggs until Steve picks four, which will take several minutes. A silicone spatula is used to scrape down the sides as he goes. Here, he demonstrates a budget stand. Once a stiff peak forms and can hold its own shape, like this, he is done. The stiffness is absolutely crucial. The peaks must be stiff as He bangs the prongs to signal the end and sets the bowl aside as it is time to move on to the yolks. Using room temperature cream cheese, he adds two tablespoons directly into the yolks. And using the same 70s beats machine, he whips the mixture until it is silky smooth. As he brings back the egg white soap impersonator, he notices it has liquefied a bit, which is problematic. It slides and has lost a bit of its foaminess, as seen here. So he cleans the prongs and whips it again. Remember, stiff peaks are absolutely crucial. He then incorrectly pours the yolk mixture into the egg whites instead of vice versa. It'll be fine, he says. Using the same silicone spatula, Dennis helps the two to become well acquainted, folding them onto each other. He goes down the middle and gently folds to the outside, to the outside, to the outside. Then, using a baking tray, he lines half with parchment paper and the remaining half with oil of the aluminium. Using a soup scoop thingy, he pours out enough mixture to mimic the size of a hamburger bun, and gives a little whirl with the back of the scoop to aid in shaping. Boop, 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 boop. He also adds them onto a baking silicone mat. Each liner will have its own baking properties, so he is testing them for science. Then, using sesame seeds, he sprinkles them onto each to make sesame seed buns for his two beef patties, which is followed by Italian herb seasoning onto three separate buns. These help reduce the agonies flavor many people dislike. What is that thing? These go into a 300 degree oven for 30 minutes, or until nice and brown, and he cleans, because ants. After time dilation occurs, he removes them from the oven and places them on the counter to cool. There, he gives them the jiggle test. If the senders do not move, they are cooked. He cannot wait any longer, so he begins to remove them from the liners. The aluminium foiled ones got stuck. Not desirable. Each of these bonds was cooked on a different liner. When flipped, we begin to see the differences that the liners impart onto the baked guests. The first one was the aluminum foil, the second, the parchment paper, and the third, the silicone mat. Little laggy. The silicone baked buns were the most crispy, however, they were also quite soft. Comment down below how you plan on using Cloudbird, and if you believe low carb food should be delicious, make sure to watch some of these other videos. Until next time, a well.